crocodile farm guys we do harvest the saltwater crocodile for their skin and their meat one day be turned into products like boots bags belts wallets all that kind of material we do uh, work just like any other farm in australia sheep cattle uh, the only difference being we don't have cattle you know cattle in the property we have crocodiles in the pond and our cattle tend to try and eat us which makes it a little bit more exciting now um, these big ones that you're going to see today, the majority of them are our breeding crocodiles. They were caught from the wild and they were bought here because they were considered a problem animal. Now can anyone tell me what that may mean? Problem crocodile, why they'd be caught from the wild? Yep, exactly. That's a perfect answer there in populated areas. They're in areas we do not want them. Uh, beaches, boat ramps, uh, popular swimming holes. Uh, some of them have actually been killing cows. Some kill dogs. Only two crocodiles out of about a hundred on our farm have actually attacked people. And one of them was an Englishman anyway, so we can't really figure what the problem was with that one. Now, um, the crocodile we're going to start off with today, his name's Henry. Now, Henry is about a four meter animal, weighs about 450 kilos, and he's just under the water just here. And he's got his lovely lady behind the palm just over there. Now, I'm not gonna, the speed is gonna be fairly short and sweet. He's gonna come running out of the water, hopefully, and um, I'm gonna feed him right here next to the gate. I do not wanna go over to that side of the pen because she's crazy. Now, it's not just because she's a female. She's got a nest up in the back corner next to that bit of blue iron, and she defends that nest vigorously. Whether it's against me, whether it's against her boyfriend, out in the wild, you could even park a car next to a crocodile's nest and she'll still have a go at it. That's how good the mothering instinct they have. Now I'll see if we can wake Henry up. Henry! There you go. Cool. Come on Henry! <laughs> up you come! Look at the food! Good boy! <laughs> Sorry guys, welcome. <laughs> like I said, that's Henry's job done for today. Very short, sweet bee. If you did want a photo without the fence in the way, this is a crop to do it with guys. Come here and yeah, just right. down behind me. He hasn't come out of this gate for about a week now. <laughs> now this is a typical size of an adult male saltwater crocodile. You'll find one of these guys in every single river system up here in North. Well, a big male jumping out of the water. That's Big Mario. He's got his lovely little lady rocket just over here. Oh no, no, he said that he doesn't get the part of Stay there. Good girl. Now, it's always really important for us to feed the females because out in the wild, when they lay their eggs, they go about three months without eating anything. They lose a lot of condition, they get a lot uh, less healthy. Here on the farm, like I said, we like to feed them because they keep that condition and it carries over to the next year. Make sure their eggs are a lot more fertile, a lot, many, a lot more of them. Now this fella here, he's probably one of our favourite crocs on the farm. He's the one who grabbed that English fella. <laughs> now, it happened down in uh, Tully, around half an hour south of here. That fella was backpacking around Australia. Um, obviously, drinking a lot, he ran out of money and he needed a job. So he jumped on a banana farm, worked there for a couple of weeks. Now his uh, boss told him uh, to jump in the river and uh, clear out a gate valve. It's a big pipe that sucks up water to irrigate the farm. Now uh, the farmer knew that there were crocodiles there.